Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 36. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're going to be taking part in the American Class A Regionals, open to Class A cars from the United States of America, starting off with Laguna Seca, Maple Valley, New York Circuit, and Road Atlanta. Let's get going. All right, this is our second attempt now. We're gonna see how this uh, Corvette does for us. And by the looks of it, it's probably gonna do a good job. That 4 GT is quicker, but... I've got better brakes, so I can brake slightly later. Not bad. I don't even know why I thought a Ford Mustang would have been a good idea. Because let's be honest. Proper muscle car. Like, this isn't a muscle car. This is a supercar. It's just an American supercar. These are actually good. Muscle cars are just built for power. There's, they have no handling ability whatsoever. Not too bad. This track normally is quite unbearable, but uh, actually, these American cars aren't doing too bad. Not bad. Meow. 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 Come on. Not bad.
There we go. Coming up to the uh, final hairpin corner here. Then got another three laps to go. No, 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 no. mean by that acid is it not uh reading your discs properly that's the one thing that i hated about and that i hate about consoles in general is the fact that you can't plug in buy a new disc drive and just use the old console when the disc drive dies i know microsoft is trying to get that to work so that you could activate games on a digital console But it still sucks that you can't just plug in a disk drive um, and actually fucking play a game if your main disk drive goes kaput. Unlike a PC, which if you've got a disk version of a game and your disk drive goes bang, you just buy a new disk drive. Problem solved. That's why I love PC. It's so much simpler, but there's so many hassles elsewhere, <laughs> so... Um, to be honest, my Xbox drive makes a lot of noise. Um, I'd recommend Acid, if you've got a hard drive in yours, um, or a slot to get a hard drive, find a used hard drive for the 360, plug it in, and download all your games to the hard drive. So I've got mine downloaded for the sole purpose because the disk drive is so loud on the 360. If it's got 250 gigabytes, um, just I think you've got to press the X button on the home menu. Um, so you know when you put a disk in it, it says play such and such. If you press the X button, you should load up an extra menu. It's like game details or something. The actual setting when you go into there it should come up with a download option and it will just load a menu that says download in please wait um you can't do anything on the xbox while it's downloading which is fair enough but once it's downloaded your xbox will never need to run the disk drive while you're playing a game so my xbox is stone silent because it's uh running it all through the hard drive that i've got I've got a 160 gigabyte, I think. I'm not actually. I'm not 100 percent sure what I've got. I think I might have a 250 or a 300. Um, Motorsport 2, I believe, takes up. Well, you got to think. Motorsport 2 will only take up to eight gigabytes because it's on one disc. 
20 grand, not bad. All right, here we go. Race number, I believe this is number two, around Maple Valley. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, you fuckhead. Uh, yeah, through the internet. If your internet speed is that slow, then yeah. It all depends. If you've got slower internet and you're downloading it digitally, then it all depends on your internet speed. Um, my internet speed will take... Around about um, an hour to do 15 gigabytes of download. So 15 gigabytes will get downloaded every hour. So if I'm looking at a 45 gigabyte game, it's going to take three hours for me to download it. Something like that. Uh, if I've got a 100 gigabyte game, that's going to take like six and a half, seven hours. Uh, yeah, that's all it does is it downloads... So if you've got physical media, so for example, like a disc, um, it's going to download straight from the disc to the drive, and then it will apply patches based off of that. Um, so for example, on an Xbox One, for example, what the Xbox One does is it downloads what's on the disc, um, and then works out what files are actually changed um, since the disc release. Um, and it will basically download the stuff on the disc that hasn't changed. Um, and then anything that has changed will be downloaded straight from the internet. Um, if you've got no internet, then it will just download all of what's on the disc. It's a pretty useful system, actually, to make sure your disc is, um, updated. See, that I don't know. If the disc is damaged and when you're playing it stops, it, it might not be the fact that it's damaged. It, it might just be the fact that it was a little bit faulty and it couldn't read it that time. So the game just crashed because the data wasn't loaded. But typically when you're actually like reading media, if there's an error, it will try again. But when a game is running, that's sort of time sensitive. If it doesn't load when it's expecting it, it will just... The whole thing will crash. Um, so, sometimes, just installing it and running it off a hard drive can actually cause the game to just work a bit better. But again, that's not 100%. Whoa. Thank you for the, uh, post check. Uh, it could be worthwhile trying to download it. See what it does. If it, if when you download it and it works, problem solved. If it still doesn't work when you download it, then you may have a problem completely and you probably need to get a different disc. Because there isn't really a way, if a disc is damaged... There isn't really a way you can repair it. You can clean it, get rid of the scratches, but that still doesn't mean that it's going to work. So it's all sort of trial and error in a way. Try it, see if it works. If it doesn't, get a different one. Uh, yes, so once it's downloaded, the disc then acts as like a license key or something. It's basically, the game won't be able to be launched when it's downloaded unless the game is in the drive. 
Because the it, it basically just looks to see, ah, the disc is in the disk drive. Okay, I'll load the game from the hard drive. Instead. It actually does improve your loading time as well if you're running it off the hard drive. That's also a bonus. Yeah. Disk drive shouldn't spin. It might spin when you're launching the game for about a minute. Maybe two minutes. Um, and then after that, it goes off. I mean, my hard drive in my... Uh, my disk drive in my Xbox hasn't gone off this entire stream. Because I loaded it up before the stream. I loaded the game before I started the stream, so... But since I've been streaming, haven't heard the drive once. Oh, uh, get back on track. That was horrendous. <laughs> there you go. Glad that I could have been some help. <laughs> It's definitely good. Like, the Xbox 360, the m biggest downfall about the entire system was the fact the disk drive was so loud. And that's why when they did the Xbox One, they properly quietened it. Because they needed to. PS4 and the PS3, their disk drives were always fairly quiet. But the problem with the PS3 and the PS4 were their fans were extremely loud. So you never really heard the um, disk drives. Uh, when it comes to the the Xbox 360 has touch sensors. I think that was a slim model, wasn't it? Xbox 360 slim. I got the um, 360E. Basically the la last 360 they ever made. It was basically um, the Xbox One lookalike version. It doesn't look slim, but it's slimmer than the original one, that's for sure. The original one's even bigger. But yeah, the 360 disk drive was just ridiculous. Uh, I do. Um, if you have a look in either my about panels or type in exclamation mark discord, you should be able to find out. I've also got a YouTube as well, if you want to uh, drop us a sub over there. Got some pretty awesome content over on that channel. <laughs> Not bad. Coming up to the finish line. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Love that jumbler. Not bad. Twenty-two, three, four, five. Nice money in New York. Cheers, game. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> oh wow. Unbelievable. My controller just had a ghost input on the 360. It was like, time to press the home button out of nowhere. Not bad. Eh. Hey, awesome. I'll have a look uh, after this race then. There's so much Forza. Like, I don't understand why they're advertising Forza Motorsport 1 in Motorsport 2. Just seems odd. 
Oh yeah, here. We made this pile of shite two years ago. You should play it as well. <laughs> Honestly, Motorsport 1 would never get sales after Motorsport 2 came out. I could guarantee it. Like, this game is just such a huge improvement over Motorsport 1. It's unreal. Oh, just squeeze through there. Not bad. Yeah. More than likely. But you would have thought they would have updated it with like a Motorsport 2 advertisement, maybe? Just a Motorsport 2 banner. Oh my god. That's not gone very well. Well, looks like we got five laps to try and catch up. You would have thought I would have learned by now, but uh, the insides of these corners are extremely dangerous in the Falls of Games. Like Gran Turismo, you just slide off them, but Forza? Yeah, it definitely uh, <laughs> hurt big time, man. Especially the fact that it just spun my car around. Like, it could have just, oh yeah, killed it dead. Like, killed the speed. I would have been fine with that, but no, it had to spin my car around, and then I had to wheel spin to try and get it back in the right direction. So, basically ruined my race for now, but... Okay, nice. Let's see if we can catch up. We do have better brakes and better um, springs and stuff like that. So our handling, our braking, and acceleration is a little better than both of the cars up in front. But the top speed and like pretty much engine power is exactly the same. Too close. Mina, 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 mina. There we go, got the position back. Can we seal the deal though? Of course we can. Okay, not bad. I don't want to go. Not bad. 
actually, I might be able to uh, take a quick glance at these photos quickly. Oh yeah, that's the Xbox 360 Slim. Basically, they've got uh, like four or five different versions. They had um, the original Xbox 360 Arcade. Um, that came out and that was just stock with a memory module to save your game data. That was about it. Um, and the memory module was built in. Um, obviously, they then introduced cloud saves, but I think if the memory module went and the saves weren't updated to the cloud, you lost everything. And your system. So, it was fucked. Um, then they had the original Elite, which the Elite one added a hard drive expansion. They sort of came with the hard drive as well. Then the Slim, which had an internal hard drive bay. Um, similar to the one that I've got now, which is the Xbox 360E, which basically looked like the Xbox One, but in a 360, and it was um, made in 2014. So, all right, here we go. Let's get going. The poor simp boss. How much health has the simp boss got now? 2000. Uh, 22,455. Gosh. Simp boss is a mile away. Oh. That Corvette was definitely too aggressive trying to cut me off there. Not bad. Gonna lift you up. It's gonna lift you up. Not bad. We are getting into the nine minutes per race sort of bracket, which is kind of crazy to think about. The graphics do look really good on this game, to be honest. For a game that came out in 2007, when you compare it to, like, Gran Turismo 5, the graphics in this are phenomenal. I mean, even, like, when we get to Forza Motorsport 4, that's going to be... Forza Motorsport 4, when we play through that, is going to be the best game in this entire series. And then we've just got... The Horizon shit. <laughs> By the way, if you want to uh, be kept up to date with all 
that's going on in this series, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Twitch isn't always reliable. Um, and sometimes we do it on some days and sometimes we don't do the Forza content. And obviously the Forza content on Twitch doesn't actually get re-uploaded on Twitch. It only stays on YouTube. So if you miss the Twitch stream, the only place you can watch it is on YouTube. So if you want to see that, uh, keep up to date with this series. Drop a sub on YouTube. We're uploading daily. Uh, at the moment with Motorsport 2, we're doing an entire event per episode. Um, and I believe based on how long some of these events are, that's going to be a trend that we'll see continue right the way up until the end of the series. Um, Motorsport 3, we'll probably see at the start quite a few events bundled into one episode. And then when it comes to the later stuff, probably see like three or four episodes per event. Because the events get huge in Motorsport 3. And same with Motorsport 4, but Motorsport 4, they start off fairly large. Surprise, motherfucker. But yeah, I know for a fact once I'm done with this Forza series, I'm doing a WRC series immediately afterwards. Guaranteed. Because I've completed my WRC collection now. And I'm very much excited to start that chapter. Surprise, motherfucker. What tune? Also, yeah, if you want to find out how uh, far we've progressed through the, all of the Forza games, that spreadsheet that Aaron's got in the uh, chat there is a uh, brilliant source that you can find out how far in we are. Not bad. Whoa. We're halfway there. Whoa. Donkey in a chair. I gotta take a photo of these uh, Corvettes. I think I'm gonna take a photo of the rear of the car for this one, because the rear looks awesome.
Not bad. And across the line. FM2. Saving game data. Right. We're now level 35 and we got ourselves... So we've had really shitty cars and then all of a sudden we get good cars? Out of nowhere? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why now? 2003 Chevrolet. 36 grand. Let's have a look. See what we got. It's the Porsche. Yep. Murrayman's Porsche. 911 GT3. Cup car. That's a nice one. And we have this one, which is the... America. Fuck yeah. Lovely. I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.